Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. Good morning everybody. In this video I want to take you to a really nice kayak fishing spot a little bit north of Mangafai. The place is called Lengs Beach. A really nice beach for launching kayak. I want to take you along on a little kayak mission today. See what we can catch. So I haven't fished in this area before. It's the first time for me and I arrived here early in the morning uh, during a major fishing time or just before a major fishing time with my new uh, DJI Mavic Mini 3 that I got for filming and I hope I can make some better drone footage with this. I also wanted to try and land and launch this drone from my kayak and see how this works and if I can manage this without losing the drone straight away. So after arriving I unloaded my kayak as usual, did a few drone shots and then I dragged my kayak down to the beach to launch there. There was a bit more swell than I thought and I didn't want to get wet really so I was wearing my waders and a rain jacket just to sort of not get wet feet in winter. It's not comfortable being cold and wet you know in the kayak. Just out in front of me is a little reef which you can't see because of the sun but it's right there. Now it's winter time so you don't have to go too far. Often the snapper will hang around in shallows. We're gonna go out around this reef and then around the edge towards Mangawai. There's some nice cliff area and some nice drop off and I'm hoping maybe I'll catch something nice. I'm also hoping that uh, we might be able to find squid if I can find some areas of seaweed. I'm just coming around the edge of the reef now. Behind me there is Lang's Beach. Over there, guys, is Fungaray Head in the distance. Check this out there. What a beautiful piece of coastline. And as always, I only brought my lure pack. I think here by the reef I could actually have a go with some squid chick first. I brought the wrong pack of squid chicks. I only have one squid chick today. I recently sorted out my squid jigs and I put all my squid jigs in a different container. Now I only got one single squid jig. My squid jig has already caught some seaweed, which is a good indication that it reached the bottom and that there's some seaweed, which squid like. I paddled straight out for maybe 300 meters, 400 meters. Paddled into about 15 meter deep water. Uh, chucked out my fish finder to see what's going on in there and I hooked into a really nice fish. All right guys, we hooked into something while I was playing around with my deeper. It's not a snapper. Oh, we got a John Dory. Woo. And a good one too. Woo. I'm so happy with that. Yay. On my favorite Zest Genjig. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Oh, nice fish. Oh, that's gonna be a nice dinner. I love it, I Check out what kind of sound they always make, I Well guys, normally the rule is to release the first fish for good luck. This Johnny is just too nice to release, even though it was my first fish for today. That's the only fish for today, I'm happy as. Because it's winter at the moment, I didn't bring my cooler. So what I'm doing is I just have a wet piece of, uh, cloth here and I put that over the fish so it stays cold and uh, chucked it under the seat just like so. Just now is the bite time as well. Today the bite time has started at about 10. I came out a bit earlier because I wanted to do a few drone shots for you guys to show you the area a little bit and we started off with a nice John Dory. I caught it on a Zest Genjig. As you know, I really like fishing with those little Genjigs. The green and yellow, they work really good for me. Yeah, that was just at the edge of the wheat where the sand starts. That's where John Dory like to hang around. And it shows you that you don't really need a life bait to catch them. They love lures. I caught them in soft baits and they really like those micro jigs as well. So then I paddled along the coastline a little bit, trolling a hard body lure with a big dip on it. It's called Gilly's Stump Jumper. And we're just gonna troll that behind the kayak for the next half kilometer to get to this spot. Shit. Straight away, you see that? Just started trolling this lure and got a nice fish on there right away. 
and look how much he's dragging my rod down here. It's definitely a good sized fish. It's a pretty decent sized garway for the east coast here. Whoa. Yeah, it's a nice garway and we're gonna release him. Oh, check this out. I somehow managed to lose my dip for this lure. Diving dip. When I was landing the scarway. Oh, now it's gone. My favorite lure. That sucks. I got another very similar lure here. It's made by Berkeley, I think. I mean, look at It's almost the same lure. Same color and everything. Except that this is segmented. But the Gillies, a stump jumper, works better than this one here. Maybe because of the rattle, I don't know. And those carway are feisty, almost like the size of those West Coast carway. Really good fight, but I released this one because we've been catching lots of carway recently on the West Coast. Then I just paddled around a little bit, this bay, uh, a little bit to the south, and I got a little pet as well. Uh, one of those little seabirds landed next to the kayak and he was checking me out. He wasn't afraid at all, came straight to the kayak and had a look what I'm doing there. Well guys, this little guy here, he's been hanging around my kayak now for probably half an hour or so. He's not scared at all. And I just released a little fish, another small goat fish, and he's been sticking his head under the water trying to see what's going on there. If he can get a piece of it maybe. But cute little guy. There were also quite a few shags flying around in this area, so there must have been some activity. And I caught a couple small goat fish on those micro jigs afterwards, and also a few snapper. There would have been two legal sized snapper that I've caught, but I released them because I was after something a little bit bigger. Feisty little kawaii. Again, oops, ah, he came off. Luckily, I was going to release him anyway. Second one might still be on as well. But then something weird happened. I hooked into two really big fish. While I was trying to turn on the camera really quick to film what's going on, they both came off. Oh yeah, I saw some good signals on the fish finder. Dropped the micro jig on top of them and the fish came off. I had a nice snapper on guys. So my Genjek was there on the bottom and just started winding it in and I had a good snapper on that I lost again. They're coming off today. That was really frustrating because I lost two chances of really nice big fish. Next time I'll be sure to land the fish and then turn on the camera or have the camera on loop. So yeah, all in all, a really nice spot for kayak fishing here. The whole area here is a nice playground for fishing. So guys, if you like those kayak fishing uh, spot videos, then check out this video. We have a really nice kayak fishing spot a little bit further south, closer to Auckland for you guys. Check it out.